Monica Lewinsky. We'll find out what, right. what that. I can't imagine what that's like. Right. Said one day you wake up, you're Charles Manson. You know? <laughs> All right, my first guest. Emmy Award-winning actress stars as Agent Scully on the popular series The X-Files. Uh, enters its, uh, what, what season is this? Fourth? Fifth? Sixth? Sixth season, okay. On November 8th, she's usually chewing something when she comes out, so we'll see. She can also be seen in the new movie The Mighty. Boy, this is a terrific movie. Uh, it opens uh, October 23rd. Please welcome Gillian Anderson. <laughs> Just uh, backstage. Oh, okay. Backstage. I like the new hairdo. Very nice. Yeah, well, okay. See, I noticed. I noticed. <laughs> See? Don't I notice? You do notice. That's right. It's only two days old. I took, well, it's, I... it's not that much shorter than it normally is. No, no, but it has that bit. new haircut thing. It has that thing. Yeah, but it, it, it has that thing. Do you uh, feel different when you get a new haircut? <laughs> it looks cute. No, thank you. <laughs> See, I noticed it right away. I hadn't seen you in like, I haven't seen you since the Emmys, and I went, new haircut. Uh, thank you. So what have you been doing? I heard you were where? Were you back east somewhere? Was I back east? You mean a what? On no. vacation? I went to Sedona for a little while. You went to Arizona? I went to Arizona. That's not back east. That's like close to Los Angeles. Let me Angeles. see. If you were to leave California and go east, <laughs> you would come I would, to... I wouldn't call that back east, though. Well, that would be Arizona. Okay, okay. Now, way back east would be... Right. New York. New York. Okay, New but York. back east. Yeah, sure. back east. Yeah, so, I went to Sedona just for a weekend um, yeah. with uh, my best friend. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. We uh, apparently had some peyote buttons while you were there. <laughs> no, but you know what's so funny is we were driving. We, we, we knew that we were going to take a drive through the canyons. They have these amazing canyons there. Right, and, right. And, and so we loaded up. We stopped at a kind of an out-of-the-way um, health food store, and we mm -hmm. picked up, you know, seaweed and tofu. And, oh, and you're making me hungry. I, uh, Stop. <laughs> Really? But we also picked up some goat's milk yogurt. Have you ever had goat's milk yogurt? It's kind of tangy and it's different, but it's, goat's you know, milk if you don't yogurt, yogurt yeah, it's How good. How is that different than regular yogurt? Well, it's 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 made cut made from goats, yeah. yeah. It's made I from mean, goats. So apparently, it's easier to digest because goats have one stomach and cows have. Yeah, but goats eat three tin cans or something too. like that. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Okay. So you buy the. <laughs> So you get, so what's we it get good? the yogurt. Well, it was good. We're driving yeah. along and we're kind of eating, and I eat some, and he eats some, and I eat some, and he eats some. We managed to finish the whole thing, and and we put it down in the console, kind of in between us, and and we're feeling a little odd, just a little odd. And I I look down and I notice that there's some writing on the side of the container, and it says, it says goat's milk yogurt for pets. <laughs> Is the difference between goat's milk yogurt for pets and goat's milk yogurt for humans? Like, what are the standards different? Do they mix it with dirty hands? Do they? I mean, is it like lying around the house and big mats of the cats jumping over it? We had all these like images. And then I noticed there was a telephone number underneath. It's like goat's milk yogurt for pets, and the telephone number. It's a little like sticker, and. Um, so I call, I take out my phone and I call. And while you're in the car, you call. While I'm over. in the car, I thought I'm going to call and talk to the guy and question him about what, what's different about processing goat's milk yogurt for pets and for humans. And so I call him, I call up, and there's an, an, an answering machine. Ah. And it's some like 108 year old guy going, Oh, if you'd like to leave a message. <laughs> and I, I like push redial and play it for my friend, and we're looking at each other with like horror on our faces. I mean, you can just imagine a shack somewhere in the middle yeah, of nowhere. Like an X-File thing where the guy. Hairballs all over the place <laughs> getting in the yogurt. And did you get sick? Were you okay? No, did we you... were fine. I'm it's sure just... it was fine, but I'm still very just, curious just, to know what the tame. difference is. Yeah. Like the bacteria and stuff. Yeah. 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 Like you ever eat Frisky's buffet? Same thing. That's <laughs> no, I have you? Well, you, you? It's processed can, different, yeah, yeah. Okay. but basically okay. it's the same. It's the same thing. <laughs> now, how was your daughter? A piper? Am I... Piper. Piper. That's yeah. right. She's four. She just had her oh. fourth birthday. Oh, she's four already? She, she was so excited to be four. She woke yeah. up in the morning on her fourth birthday just saying, I can't believe I'm four. It was such a huge deal for her. <laughs> you know, she's a like right now she's asking a lot of questions yeah. oh. about, about no, not about life, but she oh. says, you know, it's sometimes at like three in the morning, uh, she'll like, in the middle of her sleep, she'll roll over and say, Mom, what's inside trees? <laughs> or, Mom, why don't the waves stop? Or, Mom, she asked the other day, she said, how does water float? <laughs> and, 
I'm like, well, <laughs> I didn't pay attention in school, sweetheart. But uh, um, yeah, and then, then but she, also, she also said, um, she said, how do we see? I know that we have eyes, right. but how do we see? And your answer? I mean, how many people can honestly answer that question? I mean, cones and rods, and I mean, how do you tell a four-year-old how you see? And what, what was your explanation? Just shut I up. I said, and go ask back your dad. My dad bought me the Golden Book Encyclopedias. Well, that you was remember those things? They were like yeah. this. And they have pictures. Everything about the world in 49 yeah. pages, essentially, right. is what it was. <laughs> right. You just sort of look through there. Yeah, those and, are great, though. But they me. never had the questions you wanted to know. There's never any, like, sex questions or anything. Just, okay, Jay, what kind of question would you ask at that age as a four-year-old? No, I do remember. To deal with sex. <laughs> well, what are you saying? Well, it wasn't actually sex, but I do remember, because you do remember things that get reactions. Right. And I remember... Being with my mom and all my Italian, all the Italian women were in the house. My mom was there, and all the Italian women, they're all, you know, cooking or something or something. And I remember saying to my mom, I said, Mom, why do women have humps like camels? I remember saying that. And I remember hearing this collective, Whoa! <laughs> and my mom, oh, the mouth on that boy. And she took me out of the room, and I went, This, I must have said something great. <laughs> Do you, are, are you, like, fixated on breasts now because of that? I mean, um, you know, usually you have, like, these... You know, I never thought about it, but yeah, not that you mentioned Every time you see, like, big breasts, you go, whoa! <laughs> but I do that anyway. Yeah, that's right. Hey, let me ask you about this movie. Now, this movie is you and Sharon Stone. Yeah, and Harry Dean Stanton. Harry Dean Stanton, of course. And uh, Kieran Culkin and Eldon Hansen. You know, I, I say this all the time. The, the best thing about this job is seeing movies before I have any idea. All I know is Jillian's coming on. She's got a movie. I don't even know the name of it. Well, I think it's great that you watch them. Oh, uh, it, and it's really good. Tell people what it's about, so. Well, essentially, I think it's about, it's about these two kids who are outsiders, and they're, they're young. They're about 14, and, and they're, they're challenged in, in their own way. And, and they, they, they find each other, and through finding each other, they, they learn how to survive in the world of kids in a whole new way. Yeah. And, um, and it's, 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 a, it's not really a coming-of-age story, but it's, it's, it's a wonderful story about how, how kids learn to survive in the world yeah. of, of, of other kids and being made fun of and, and being different well, in some way. I mean, one kid is big and dumb. And the other kid is handicapped and intelligent. No, he's no, just, but I mean, he, essentially, that's no, no, no. But I mean, from a kid's point of view, yeah, you have to understand. Oh, I'm he's, too. He's I'm watching. Challenged. This movie. He's challenged. He's a big dumb kid. Jay. No, but it, but, it, but it comes out good in the end. But in the beginning, you just oh, think so, he's so a big dumb kid. So that makes it okay. Kid. Oh, you yeah. call a kid dumb? Well, no, I'm not calling him dumb. dumb. Some things have happened in his life, and he's kind of shut down, and he doesn't talk, and he's mute, and he's big, and dumb. <laughs> It's a great movie. It's a wonderful story. I mean, like, you'll cry at the end of this movie. Okay. You feel so sorry for the big, dumb kid. I'm going to show this clip. See, there's the big, dumb kid right there. <laughs> Loretta Lee? Iggy? Is the circus in town? <laughs> Believe this is yours. Have a nice day. Wait a minute. You just scared me half to death. Wait a minute. I know you. No, you don't. We were just leaving. Sure as hell I know you. Iggy! What the hell are you hollering? Ain't he just bit an image? Name. Max Kane. Kenny Kane's boy. What did I tell you? Shut up, Loretta. All growed up. My, oh my, how time flies. Great job. Terrific film. It's called The Mighty. Well, isn't, that, uh, isn't that pot roast you're in the movie with? No, that would be meatloaf. Meatloaf, I'm sorry, I thought it was pot roast. Listen, I know you have to go, but the film is great. It's a terrific movie.